Uh, who does that in no? Knows. Who is who does that? I already forgot. I always forget who that is. Who does that is actually who does that. There's someone else who, uh, their username is, um, make a game. Four person lobby. Three. It should actually be fine if I host it. Actually, I'll host. We'll find out. We'll find out the hard way. Did I really just enter training completely mindlessly? Guess I've just done that too many times. Um, endless battle, create match, four person, three private. Uh, I'm inviting. Who does that? Invite the game. One sex, sec. Ha, huh. that's a Freudian slip. Uh, and I'm inviting. A uh, nose. Who is nose? Who is that? Yeah, play your matches even if it's not streamed. Why is Grim Thief a guest? Is he not on my buddy list? No, he is. Did he never join my fucking group? Come on. Who is Nose? N O H S. Who is that? Who does that join? Why is this so hard? Who is Nose? N O H S. Nose entered the chat. Says hi. Okay. Add to my friends list. Uh, invite to group. A fail. Ultra Street Fighter Four. And invite to game. I have to invite the person because I'm the host and I made it private slots. So your invite does nothing. Get out of here with that. And let's invite my boy Roy. And then we'll click that start voice chat. Ringling. Oh, hello. Hi. How's it going? Oh, I didn't even realize it was in the game. <laughs> that worked out better than I thought it would. Good. All right, Matt's ready to commence. Let's see this shit. Neither of them are readying up. This, uh, is this no bar against a two bar? They're both two for me. <laughs> You're a one. Who does who does that has no bars for me? <laughs> That's funny. There they go. I wonder what shadows everyone will pick. You really have no idea I'm what getting... what what people like, you know, in a tournament like this. Everyone has a showdown preference. Ah, the classic. It is the classic. Well, I would say Ken and Ryu is Ken is classic. Ken and Ryu is the classic. Ryu and Ryu is the classic. Yeah. <laughs> Realistically <laughs> speaking, the Ryu mirror is the classic. This is true. All right. Oh, well, it looks like who does that's got some points with Evil Ryu. Yeah. So this isn't this isn't this isn't his first time. Right. What the fuck? Yeah. Round start hard Totsy predicting start a fireball. A sneaky surprise attack. That's uh oh, not super TV risky at round start, ball. but what the fuck? Nose? He oh, stopped. What just happened? And who does that is stopping? Did he like fucking? Do you have a window pop up? Forget to close his fucking messenger. All right, looks like they're gonna just I try and play it on seems it. Seems really laggy too. Yeah, uh, it, it's probably laggy because he was oh, dragging. Yeah, the link though canceled. What the fuck? No, stopped again. Yeah. Usually it gets laggy like that when people are minimizing, unminimizing, and dragging around the screen. So uh, that's probably what he was doing. I hope, I hope that's not the case. He forgot to disable sticky keys. <laughs> what the fuck? No. With his keyboard, surprise. Yeah. And shift is his uh, block button. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is odd. Maybe he. I don't know. Maybe he had like delivery. He had to answer the door. Yeah, he had to answer the door. He took a bathroom break. It's like shit. I gotta go. They're playing on it. 
Ooh, Evil Rear has a really good backdash, but also a very long duration. Oh, nice red focus. Ooh, there's the red focus. He could have killed with that red focus, but it would have been a tight one frame length. Yeah, and especially on this lag, it probably wasn't worth taking the risk. Yeah. Take the confirm. Yeah, I'll take I'll take a one bar to avoid a one frame length. In most cases. There's a lot of jumping here. What the fuck is going on? It looks like he dropped again. Is I need to ask him what's happening. I'm not gonna ask him what's happening. Not as long as they're playing. Yeah, just if they're playing on it, I'm not gonna stop it. Yeah. Oh, he could have had much bigger damage there. Yeah. Ooh, that was a meaty connect. That was kind of funny. Gets the throw. Let's see if he gets a setup off of it. Teleport. No punish on the teleport though. The only use teleport through is probably the easiest to punish teleport in the game. Yeah. Oh. And Ryu had super too. He could have gotten big damage off of that. That's true. Super super is one of the best teleport punishes. Little block strings. Low strong or low, yeah, low strong stand forward is really good. Oh, he went for that Definitely. link doesn't work after jump medium kick. You have to do it after jump short, and even then it's very weird. Oh, that God. that was punishable. What the fuck? Yeah, no. What is happening? Yeah, what's actually happening? We might have to take a, a timeout from the tournament, depending on whether it's actually knows or like this the client being shitty. If you take a timeout, I will probably just back and go play Volcane, because him and I are supposed to play, and I'm probably going to get bodied anyway, because I don't play Shonos. <laughs> this is the uh, unseated rounds right now, so... Oh, this is... Yeah, what, what the fuck? His controller keeps dying in group chat. Oh. What the fuck? Get a new controller. Swap that shit out. Yeah, really. That's like especially bad. He says I give up. He is forfeiting, oh. I think. Well, that was a pretty okay, bad then. first match. I'll play who does that. <laughs> I will play for him. I will, I will volunteer his tribute. Gotta have a pop culture reference in there somewhere. Is he actually giving up? I I guess. He hasn't left. Backup controller. This is true. He says no. Of course, nose would say no. I'll play it out. He says, "Okay, he's not giving up." Okay. Well, good luck winning on a broken controller. I've had a tournament match where I had a controller that was uh, constantly holding up and to the right. I won. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Were you playing as Guile? I was playing as Oro. It was third strike tournament. Mm. I was fighting a Hugo, which is the matchup where Oro wants to constantly run away. So, it could have been worse. I got on the right side and then I was holding up and back while I was like, like on the right side. I cornered myself pretty Does fast. Does backbreaker actually work as a good anti-air, though? Um, no. Air normals will stuff it. Okay. Okay, then you were fine, then, I guess. <laughs> he has other, other anti-airs. It's not like this is only anti-air. There is no EX backbreaker in Third Strike. A lot of command grabs don't have EX no, versions. Gotcha. Ooh, that was nice. Ooh. It got both hits. Got that was a pr pretty risky to go for the second one. Because if he quick stood... stand throw. Yeah. I wish he would have gone for more damage there. I see so many players go for throw after people jump over them. And they could just jab them out of the air. Just get a little bit of damage. Yeah. Converted the crouch tech into a throw. Could have been worse. Ooh. His controller's holding oh, up pretty well. No any air there. Maybe he switched the batteries. God forbid he's using a controller with batteries. Good conversion. I know, that'd be terrible. <laughs> oh, I missed the anti air again. Yeah. Good tech, though. I, there are oh. just no anti airs here. Oh, it's jabs into low forward. Oh. What Shoto does he think he is? Oh. I think he got it. He might get this. Yeah. That's something. Good conversion. Ah, uh, I'm stuck. Okay, I wasn't sure if that was just me or not. This is uh, already not going so well. Spectator mode sus suspended. Lovely. Were they kicked out of it? Yeah, they were. I guess. I guess so.
I wonder if they're gonna... They're friends. I wonder if they're gonna retry or just uh, give a round. They might just play on it. But. I don't know. I don't know. There's a good... I like when, um... Zephyr and I have had that happen to us twice. We've retried it both times. Yeah, I, I... If it happened to me, I usually just say, like, do an entirely new game. Even if I had a win, I'm just like, whatever, just fucking start again. Mm -hmm. If I can win once, I can win as many times as I want, or else I'm not a better player. And if I'm not a better player, then yeah. I don't deserve the win. Like, I know there's an element of randomness involved in Street Fighter, but realistically speaking, if you play if you play well, the randomness will work in your favor. It... I don't know if that was a punish or not. That was our Dizelle. Yeah. It just hit that sweep really late. Meaty stand fierce. No mix up there. Just trying to catch a crouch deck. That was, uh, oh. that was the first hit only. That was cool. It lagged on the FADC Ultra. All that waiting on even. Saw that. Oh, that's a big combo. Oh, that's bad. That was the kill. Could have got auto correct uppercut. Mashing like a scrub. He even had the FADC. And then the punish didn't even kill. Are you fucking serious? That was like two killing opportunities. That was kind of bad, but I guess a lot of people aren't going to be used to these characters. No one's used to anything right now. Everything's kind of just up in the air. Ouch. Nice fireball. Ryu could have done a Tatsu to maybe slow his backwards. Uh, EX Tatsu is better than EX Fireball in that combo. He did. He reacted to the crouching situation with a non... with a non-Tatsu combo, so that was good. But he did kind of the wrong one. EX Fireball doesn't do anything for Evil Ryu. EX Tatsu gets a knockdown, more damage, and uh, an Oki. Well, not really an Oki, because it sends the opponent full screen. I guess you ground, though. Tatsu hit low, though? Yeah. Regular Tatsu doesn't, but oh, okay. EX Tatsu does. I always forget because like it's different for every Shoto, because it's like Akuma is one of his hits crouching. Akuma, okay, Akuma's uh, Oni's and Ken's the first hit of their top two is all hit crouch. Wow, but then Ryu's I guess doesn't at all. Yeah, Ryu's doesn't have a first hit. Oh. But Evil Ryu EX does. Okay. His EX uh, medium and light also have a first hit. Evil Ryu. Oh, Nick apparently lost first round. Who was his opponent? Must be strong. Whoa, that was a meaty connect as well. He could have comboed. Whoa, that was ultra. He comboed a light normal with light DP. The sick scenario. Doesn't happen often. Was that on purpose? Oh, come on, dude. Big com yeah, What crazy. the fuck? All you need is light Tatsu combos at this point. Okay. We need more big boy combos here. So who does that? Man, should take it. Oh, Grim Thief. I think he entered a previous tournament and did did, did some ass kicking. I think he. I think we saw him on stream last week. Hey, Elderaz, you're late. What's it? Was it last week? I might have been two weeks ago. It was recently. All right, get out of here. Okay. Uh, let's. Who's next? I can play Volcane. Yeah, you can play Volcane. Let's do that. Actually, let's invite Volcane. All right. Sounds like a plan. I'm gonna end our chat. There. All right. It's fine, he's my friend. Ugly, but okay. <laughs> Alright, here's Volcane. Roy has to ready up. You guys catch Combat Cast today? That shit was sick. We saw gameplay footage of, um... Uh, what's his face? Takeda, for the first time. And also Melina was revealed. Although she was kind of already known to be in the game. The world's fiercest fighters await! Will you be the last warrior standing? Ryu Ryu, the classic. Oh yeah, and Kung Jin was shown for the first time as well. Takeda surprised me. I've been reading the comics and like there was no reference to whip arms or armor or anything. So it's just like, what the fuck? Where'd all this come from? Yeah, quidalities are funny as fuck. Ah, superior costume goes to Volcane. He might win by that alone. I like the red, white, and blue too. Very America. Ah, that's not max damage. You can comp Volcane and get a hard uppercut. He didn't even go for the safe jump that the sweep provides. Not that safe jumps are that good on Ryu, although they do work. You can do delayed wake up to fuck with the safe jump, but also Ryu's uppercut is fast enough that it punishes safe jumps, although you can empty jump to bait an uppercut, so it's not just a hard counter or anything. Just a mix up scenario, but it's a pretty good mix up scenario for the guy jumping in, so. Uh, 
nice full screen fireball wars. As a conventional rule, don't throw full screen ex or full screen fireballs. The opponent can just absorb them and get free ultra meter. It was kind of bad that they were both throwing fireballs back and forth. Although it's not that bad because they're both getting super meter doing that. Nice trade. And once again, a very weak combo. He could have gone for ultra there. And my game just crashed. <gasps> Fuck. Whoever's lead, invite me. I like how the game still randomly crashes. I like how I got the Steam client update. And now the game is still crashing. I like how fucked my life. I like how that happened the first possible time that it could have happened. It seems to happen the most with Roy. I don't know if it's just because I'm watching most of Roy's games, or... I'm just going to tell him I'm going to do my game. Yeah, I can join game, right? Yeah, Melina looks cool. And the other guy left. Oh, right. The whole game crashed, I guess. I think everyone got booted. Where'd the other guy go? Yeah. No. The whole? Lobby crash? That doesn't seem right. Yeah, I've been getting a ton of crashes lately. The whole lobby crashed. That's new and abnormal. It no normally doesn't do that. It normally shifts the host to the next guy. Everyone got booted. Thanks, Capcom. It's survival of the fittest on a global scale. Who among the challengers will make it to the top? He's going to probably recommend me the headphone fix, which I've already done. Training stage. Your destiny will be hey, where were we? Here. Yeah, focus backdash. You can actually, if the opponent's cornered, or if you're cornered, you, you can ready? do towards fierce. But otherwise, you have to do hard uppercut for max damage, or sweep for hard knockdown. Those are your two best options. Or ultra, or super. Apparently it's been bad for everyone just lately. This confirms something I already thought. That it's, it hasn't, it wasn't happening before. The overhead traded with light uppercut. That has to be wake up light uppercut. All the other ones have invincibility to carry through to a hit. Light uppercut tends to trade. Interesting combo. He could have gotten medium uppercut there. It was definitely the right thing to do. Roy's shadow game is not, um, or as promised, um, not fully top notch. Seems to be holding himself well in terms of footsies though, and that's good. And my game just crashed again. Hopefully they didn't crash. I'm going to do my game. It might be like... Fuck, I don't know what it is. I'm going to do my game though. I'd fight the winner of... I'd fight Sephiroth. I'm going to fight Sephiroth. I wonder if it's just me and Roy. Ultra. I can't believe how much it's crashing. It's like really fast too. It's like the first round of every game. It never happens except for Befail Cups. I don't understand. I don't understand. Right after Befail Cup last week when I had like 10 crashes. Um, immediately after that I made an endless lobby that lasted all night. With 8, eight, eight room. 8 people. It's like, what the fuck? Where is Sephiric? He always hides. There he is. He's not hiding today. He's in plain sight today. Get in here, Sephiric. Ah, it's so frustrating. I just want to host a tournament, but the game keeps crashing. Fuck, what do I do? I've never crashed in one of my games. I didn't like Injustice. Come on, dude. Justice was a good game. Are you 
If you're not checking the my group lobby, you should check that. It's playing a little laggy. It's not super laggy. You can still do things like that. Walk into a step kick. Oh, that's nice. Sephiroth's smart about focus attacks. Oh, that was a big cross up. Thought I could walk under in time. I had a big punish there. Center hit combo. Really easy. Cool. Empty jump low is strong. Let's keep it up. Fight. A little laggy. Baby combos. That was a nice autocrack. I haven't got hit by an autocrack in a long time. I should have known that was not a cross up. It was like clearly not a cross up. I definitely had time to recover though. That was actually a cross up. But he didn't combo out of it. Shit. Bad. Uh, I can't believe he went for that. He had two bars to burn, but like he would have burned two bars. Oh shit, I'm gonna start jump. I'm going for a hopscotch. I really missed that. I tried to crash fierce and I got counter hit. Damn. Why is he jumping so much? I had a read on that jump. That was a super risky forward jump on my part. I can't believe I was right though. It seemed like it was a super desperate move in my head. I, he I had multiple killing opportunities before that. I was just doing early light uppercuts. Oh, he went to Rio. Mortal Kombat's not hard. It's also kind of fun. That was not convincing at all. It's kind of laggy. Let's get started. I wasn't there in time, and he also didn't dash his own. Mm, he back dash too. No jumping. Grab the cut stack. Mm. Ah. Why is jumping working so well? Mm. Not what I wanted. Why are you playing so risky with that white? Whoa, I didn't want that. It's cool though. It's a cool trade. Where's house 987 at? I'll find him in one second. No, I can't find him. I'll be cool. Don't be like that. Bad idea. Whoa. I hit close fierce? I guess. I got, I got hit standing. That's not the right combo. Combos have come leaps and bounds since I used to do that. Oh, that was nice. Mm. That was a nice counter poke. Oh, I did it. It worked. <gasps> What's happening? I tried to uppercut there and I missed the reversal window. That doesn't happen to me often. Reversal window is real big. I literally put down my controller scratch when I was there. That was really dumb. I mean, not during the reversal window, before it. I was just holding back. Didn't get hit there anything. That was light uppercut to kill me. Ah. Alright, I won. Power alone is no guarantee of victory. 
Overhead into uppercut is an old shenanigan. He already marked me as winner before I could. Or someone did. Could have been plumpers. Um, I'm going to check out a, a match by myself just to see if it drops less or more. going to not invite Roy. Sorry, Roy. Hybrid and Kunuichi. Are those two playing? That would be a good one. Ryu Super is probably the best super in the game. Hybrid, you ready to play? Kuno. Where are you? Invite. Uh, I need to find this guy. Who the fuck is this guy? Nick, you in here? Um, there's like a game. House... House 987. Who is House 987? Who is that? Hybrid needs to play, right? Um, ooh, my boy Plucky's doing pretty well. Hybrid is against Kanuichi. Okay, yeah. Oh, I sent it to Kanuichi again because I'm dumb. Alright, cool. There we go. I didn't crash in my game. I never crash in my game. How much to start up? Reduce super is three frames. A lot of people mistake it to be two, including me. Who is who the fuck is it? Um House nine eight seven. Is House 987 in my chat or in my thing? It's of the he needs to show up real soon or I'm going to DQ him. Who among the challengers will make it to the top? Friend me or make himself known soon. Or it's the boot. He hasn't had to play yet, so there's a good chance he's just not here. So Hybrid is actually picking Dan. We have an actual hero. Whether he knows how to play Dan remains to be seen. Kanoichi, of course, would go to Akuma and uh, Uki main. Very similar character spiritually. Oh, the taunt. That's it. He powered up. Everyone knows the dance taunt powers him up. That's almost true. The crouch taunt and the air taunt both build a shit ton of meter. I don't remember if they need to connect. They changed it recently. They used to need to connect to build meter and now they don't, or vice versa. I don't remember which one. The standing taunt does nothing though. Standing taunt's the one you can change, but the crouching taunt and the air taunt have hitboxes and they're fixed. There's another taunt, also standing. He didn't even pick the taunt 9, I think, which is the good taunt. It's the ass slap. Might be top four. I don't remember. Dan really has to block both of those, Sandy. I mean... Oh, that was super risky. That's not the right punish for Dan. You go for back roundhouse if you can ever help it. And then if you go for back roundhouse, you can combo into, uh... For example, like, low strong uppercut, I think. Or definitely low strong hard EX Dotsu. EX Dan Kyaku. So I hybrid actually won. Mostly owing to Akuma's incredibly low vitality and stun. Sagat is not a shadow for my purposes. Sagat's not a shadow with no more. That's a punish. It's a really shitty one. Dan can combo light normals into fireballs now. I wonder if iHybrid knows that. That's a pretty good buff he got in Ultra. His fireballs come out faster and now you can combo them from jabs and stuff. Ouch. The taunt? iHybrid's playing Dan correctly, you can tell because of the excessive taunting. Akuma doesn't have a whole lot in the way of anti air normals. He's got Fire Fierce, Crouch Fierce, and then all his uppercuts. And the Crouch Fierce is incredibly vertical. It's the same one as Evil Reese, I think. Or very similar. Little block string. He's not using Denkyakus at all. He needs to, like soon. Whoa, that looked like a frame trap uppercut almost. Woohoo! Do it again, I want to see your meter. Oh, there it goes. Father. Oh yeah, gee. Pull out all the stops. Fight. Heat. Uh -huh. 
dive kick at the throw. Some pseudo. Okay, he got a trade. He didn't get the combo though. Fucking confirm combo after a punish scenario, and then again, he didn't even think about it. Normally, when I realize I did something fucking dumb, I'd like think about it and what I should have done. And then, once you know what you should have done, you do it next time. And he was put in the same scenario immediately, and he still did the same dumb thing. A focus is a confirm, and a blocking a blocking a move is a confirm, an unsafe move. You don't need to do confirm combos; they lower your damage a lot. Oh, Kanuichi's is just not looking very strong. That's gonna kill. It's gonna kill. Media uppercut is good. Dance uppercut is invincible. And media uppercut does beat throws and crouch decks and other things. Kunuichi, you might actually be the worst. I'm gonna have to follow um, Hybrid for this tournament. His games are gonna be uh, good. I can tell because he's uh, playing Dan. How minus is Akuma Sweep? Punishable. I can't tell you exactly how minus, but. Um, if you've got a far fast normal, you can punish it. Yeah, it's not super minus. It's not as unsafe as Ryu's. I think it's more unsafe than Ken's. Minus 9. We got a word in the chat. So there are characters who can't punish that. Depending on the range. Tialk might have a hard time. Unless he's play black, you can uh, grab it. Yeah. Excuse me. Tiox the classic example of a character who can't punish shit. Unless it's a minus two move and then he's good. Ooh. That's upper guard. It's more risky. That's if you block it low, it hits deeper. So it ends up being plus quite a lot. Should always high block that move. Um yeah, Sephric, I'll relay that to Nick in a second. Oh, that sweep was terrible. Can we just going for hard confirms? Low jab low forward is uh one frame. And Hybrid is getting paid off a lot for that Meteor cut. Ah. The air talent. Yep, dang gets Meteor just for doing them. Sephric said thank you, but I didn't even do anything. Oh, I, I don't think he got him. Yeah. The startup on Ultra is kind of long. It's longer than people think. It's either 5 or 7 frames, I think. It's not one frame like a super. You can't just do, like, Kara into Ultra Demon and catch people. This is an excellent combo. That was the range where uh, low forward worked, and uh, Stan Run Hustle low forward is one frame. I wonder if Kunoichi knows that. Oh, he's got something going now. Oh, never mind. Oh, such a tiny punish. Just hard uppercut by itself. You can do better than that. This is not over. It looks over, but it's not. That was a good cross under. Oh, he could attack that throw. He should have been hitting that button. Five frame startup, apparently. Jump back taunt. He already has full meter, so that literally did nothing other than taunt. Nice little shenanigan right there. Very low uh, landing recovery on uh, jump palm. Easy to make it whiff, too. Low short worked, but he doesn't have the low short combos. That move is minus two. Kunichi did not take a throw afterwards. Hybrid even did like a defensive throw attack, so it was even later than if he just threw immediately, I think. Dan really has to block both of those. My shadow's done. I know Ryu and Evil Ryu and Ken all block the second hit. And I presume Akuma does too. Dan's hitbox is unique. In a bad way. Oh, ouch. That's gonna hit still. It's over. Hybrid took it. Well. I've seen actual good damn play. It's actually kind of cool. If you've never seen Ixian, he's like a. Is it Ixian? It's like a European Dan player. He plays other characters too. But he plays Dan at a relatively competitive level. Well, it didn't crash. I'm going to tentatively... Uh, everyone is playing um, Shoto so they're not used to playing, so don't be so quick to insult. This is a very abnormal incoming chat request from Nose. He should be my friend, isn't he? I got to bounce. Oh, Nose just left. 
Okay. Let me make sure that that's empty. Make sure that nose gets um, a limbed. He's already limbed. Tentacruelty took it in losers. Probably didn't even play. Um, so the loser of I. House needs to... I'm, I'm e-limbing House because he didn't make himself known. No, House never came forward, right? Who's Chow Time? Where are they on here? Who are you, Chow Time? Oh, House is good by clock. Or Chow Time is good by clock. Okay. Gonna play Blocky since since House bailed. Okay, I'm gonna elim House. And then I'm gonna elim him from loser so Tenta Cruelty can advance. Um. Sephric versus Nick are supposedly playing right now. That'd be a great game to watch. Uh, Space Ghost Waffle Vo versus Volcane. Uh, this match is normally one that we're not supposed to be. No, this is fine. I'm gonna play against Corsus right now. And then we can do losers for a while. Corsus is a pretty good player. I don't know who Space Ghost Waffle is. Who is Space Ghost Waffle? Hold on, is he even in here? Check first, then ask. Volcano also asked. Space, Space Ghost Waffle, whoever the fuck you are, what's your username? Answer in chat, answer in answer in either the Steam chat or the stream chat. Be my friend. Uh, I need to pick a character. Unfortunately, it's already hovering over you. The classic! Ixian's beaten Luffy. Luffy, Luffy, is probably not... Luffy is possibly the best player in Europe. I would not immediately call Luffy the best player in Europe, even though he won a Nevo and even though he's been on a terror recently. I don't know if... maybe he is. I don't know. I'm not sure who's competing with him. I know Ryan Hart's up there. I know uh, Valmaster's probably up there. And a couple other people too. What's his face? The Bison player. What's his name? Hmm. This is troubling. Disconnected from Steam. Yep, that's troubling. Phenom. Phenom was the one I was thinking of. I forgot about Gagapup, but he's really good. Phenom is the one I was ex explicitly thinking of. Both of them are really good. People often say... Someone in Europe just recently said there's a lot of um, characters stagnant. Or Europe is, Europe is character stagnant, and that's what people say. They don't play a whole lot of characters in Europe. I've noticed that. That being said, the characters they play are different. They don't have characters the way we do. Let's do not a stage, not America. I like the top row of stages. They're all pretty cool. Of course, this is no joke. I can't go easy. Still a little laggy. Uh, I probably could have hit Jokai next day. Oh shit. <gasps> that counter hit. That was probably still punishable. I don't know why I did that combo of all combos, but it worked. Ten combos. That backdash, though, got my combo. I don't need to do anything, though, for that. Don't need to do anything risky. If you can win without taking risks, you should always win without taking risks. Oh, that was a good EX panel. Got some ground back for that. I become such a turtle player. I used to be super rushed down. You can EX fireball to punish that sweep, I think. And we'll save block strings. He jumped. He's sticking very close to the ground. I 
He's got a big meter advantage. Mm. Was apparently too far out for that. Try to do walk forward sweep. Very picky. That's plus. A lot of people don't realize that. Got a very deep connect there. I had nothing meaningful to combat it, I don't think. No ultra. Uh, that's really minus. I shouldn't have gone for that. Fireball in the corner is usually punishable. <gasps> Fuck. Alright, it's cool. Or it's just some throws, I don't think. I hadn't gone for a throw up until then, which is probably why. He didn't like the block string, so he was just chilling back. Blocking them. It's easy to get caught up in yourself in your frame traps if you have good frame traps, which I kind of do, and never go for throws. And if the opponent realizes that, or even if they don't, if they're just chilling, holding them back, um, no matter how you time your frame trap, it's not going to work. Early, late, doesn't matter. Calling all space waffles, where are you? No one's ready for that. Infiltrate. He's near dizzy. <sighs> if I just gotten like one more jab. That was a good hit. Oh. He's like not jumped. Just jumped. I, I baited it without realizing I baited it. That was a good walk. Uh, gotcha. I should have gone for hard up right there. I don't know why I did light. That backdash. Such a tight punish. I should just throw EX fireballs. I don't have to worry about it. Another common trick. Get right into the range of their max range poke and then uppercut as soon as you do. That was not a medium uppercut. He could have punished that. Did someone mark Plucky Pry out even though he didn't play? That shouldn't have happened. I can change game outcomes. Plucky, give me the whole story and, and don't lie. Not that I would expect that you would lie. Hype Bulbasaur? What the fuck? Who are you? Get out of here. <laughs> plucky won. Oh, Plucky won and someone marked it as a loss. Oh, what the fuck? Plucky, you're still fine. What are you talking about? You're listed against Grim Thief. I just beat courses. Alright, we've sorted out top four and winners quite quickly. Um, let's do... I'm going to advance Volcano unless Space Ghost Waffle makes himself very known very immediately. Space Did Space Ghost Waffle even play a game? No, he didn't. Who does that? Hold on. Who does that? Did you play against Space Ghost Waffle? Where are you? Who does that? Yeah, it was a little laggy. I didn't, it wasn't laggy as fuck. That's a bit strong. It was like one frame of lag, maybe two. And it wasn't like spiking or anything, so it was just like get used to it. Um, the game tournament client is fine, but it only goes up to eight people. He might have just bounced. He might have not realized it was double elim. Travis or something. Did I have a friend like that? I gotta check my friends list. Travis. Is that him? He's offline. Yeah, this guy was the guy who asked me which whether it was character locked. Just logged off. There's nothing that bad about the tournament client. It's not double elim. It's not. It's very limited. That's the biggest bad thing about it. Yeah, we could just use a bunch of eight player pools, but it's not double. It's not double elim. It's only best one. It's not best two out of three. 
Also, yeah, it would force all the games to be played in sequence. Of course, that would mean all of them were streamed, but you know. This, I think this number is deceptively, is deceptive. I think this number is almost always wrong. Except when it's right. Um, I think Travis just bounced, but I don't want to limb him if I can help it. I mean, I do want to limb him, but I want to make sure he's actually gone and not just like, I don't know. Sephric and Nick, who won? Are they playing? They better be playing. <sighs> Don't tell me this is still an issue. Where the fuck is Nick? Invite to chat room. He should... Is he not already in there? He is in there. So that means they must have played. They're probably playing, given the lack of responses. What the fuck a duck? That is one pointy duck. Anyone else watch Homestar? What other game could I do? The winner of Sephric and Nick would be a really good one to watch against Goodbye Clock. Space Ghost... I'm gonna mark I'm gonna mark Space Ghost is gone. Nine minutes. If he comes back I'll probably try and fix it somehow. But until then, we have to have a volcano to play on. The D Veritas, I didn't even look. Yeah. Of course, this intent to cruelty might already be playing. Nick won. So, Sephric's out. One of the people I predicted would be um, very strong. Lost. Went 2 and 0, I think. Yeah. No. 1 and 2. 0 oh and 2 was the thing I was going to say. Sephric beat Bronco for life. Um, so, I'm going to get Nick in here. Nicky babe, Nicky boy, Nick, Nickster, invite. Alright, he got in here before I could even call him a weenie. And he's fighting Goodbye Clock, who is, I've already forgotten. I've already forgotten who goodbye clock is. Ciao time. I get it. Goodbye. Clock. Ciao. Time. Ha. Ciao can be hello as well, I think. Um, Get in here. What did Nick say to me? Okay. HS. Oh, it's ha. Alright, Nick needs to ready up. Canada. Canadians are honorary. I thought Aloha and Chow were like that. I'm pretty sure Chow can be a greeting. I'm not 100%. If you guys think it's not, then you guys are probably right. Chow is hello and goodbye. Okay. There's another word that's like that. I think it's Shalom. It's like Hebrew. Yiddish. I don't know if Shalom is Yiddish as well as Hebrew. Most words are. Most of the ones you still hear. I mean. I'm not even sure if Shalom is how it's pronounced. So Nick is definitely going with Oni. I didn't actually see. I presume he's going with Oni. And Chow Time is playing Ken and has a disturbingly small number of points. It's the battle of the century! Fight! That doesn't necessarily mean anything. He made it pretty far to even be here. He's got chocolate chip cookie, that's one of the secret the secret ones. Whoa, that sweep was bad. It's a really weird time to focus. That didn't combo, did it? I think it did. I think he got light slash, low jab, crutch, fierce, light slash. I think that all combo. 
Shalom. Okay. It means peace. Do that. Whoa! Switch focus is very unsafe. Nick is looking very competent. He's like, he got a point where he's just hitting buttons. Ooh. That move has a good hitbox. <gasps> what a hit! He did not mean to get that. No way. That was amazing. Nick must be fucking... Nick's all of a sudden losing. He's got to play careful. Stay in fierce, anti -air. What the fuck? Who does that as Ken? Fire stand fierce does not reuse fire stand fierce. This is, if, any, if anything, in Ken's favor at this point. Ooh. Nick should have moved forward more. Oh, that was nice. Neutral jump, fierce, immediate ultra. No confirm. He kind of got the confirm on the way down for what it's worth. Nice, meaty low strong. That works that works anyway, but it's easy to repeat. So I'm working really well. This is really risky on Ken because light up will blow you up. Nick playing no respect. Hey rising Jaguar, long time no see. You shall perish before Oni. Sick. I had to resist the temptation to hit ready. Chow time? I think chow time just got a little lucky. If you know what I mean. No offense. Oh god, I hope I don't have to go against Plucky in winners finals. I'm gonna have to pull out the secret gimmicks. There's so much buffering on my end that I literally missed the match. President Magikarp? I didn't even know you entered. Did you enter? When's Omega? Omega will be a tournament that I will do. It'll probably be one I do repeatedly. That'll probably be one of the common ones. Theme tournament, Omega. Once a month. Something like that. I want to get people actually playing Omega. So chat time with the Dan, which could mean anything. It could be a sign that he's already given up. Or it could be he's finally revealed his true power level. Walk forward, Crutch Fierce. The thing about Dan is a lot of his moves... Um, um, a lot of his moves appear to be... A lot of his moves look similar to Shoto moves, but function uh, dramatically worse. A lot of his actual good moves, which do exist, he does have some actual good moves. Um, a lot of his actual good moves are buttons that Shoto's don't normally push that much. Like close round house. So strong. And his very shutter like buttons, like Crutch Forward and Crutch Fierce, are kind of bad. That was a sick reset, I guess. It worked. Any reset that works is a good reset. Good roll of thumb. Anything that works is inherently good. Nick is definitely in show off mode. Whoa, that would be a sick bait if it came from a pro. Winning on trades. Oni's uppercut trades very badly. The hits are very weak individually. And it's like that for all three versions. That went high. Come on, Chow Time. The hard one is safe, actually, I think. Ooh, the backdash. Dan's backdash is actually incredible. Oh, he's. That might kill. That looked like it lost a hit. <laughs> Interesting. It's still looking over. Oh, shit. That was a clever reset. <sighs> that was desperate as fuck. Nick knew. Nick didn't need to do anything. He's playing a low health Lidizzy character. He was just gonna chill. Dan doesn't have an overhead. He actually does. I think neutral jump short is an instant overhead that's actually pretty good. No. Time to give him the boot. Um... How close are we to sorting out top eight? Uh, we're at top eight. We're gonna sort out one more match: Roy and Tenta Cruelty and Deveritas versus Nick. I'm gonna get Nick back in here. I'm gonna avoid Roy, even though I think he's a cool guy, if only because my game always crashes when he's present. Um, and Deveritas. 
Who is D Veritas? Is that DSC too serious? Is that you? Things have narrowed down quite a lot. Brother. The SC2 series is in fact D Veritas. I have the power to remove Nick. What does the winner get? You'll see if you stick around. It's a pretty sick prize in my opinion. I gave one to myself one time because I won one time. I've actually won two BAF Cups, which I think is the most of anyone. Deeper just join. Okay, there he goes. Yeah, the double quotes. Because it is neither magnificent nor a prize. I thought it was pretty funny when I typed that out. I'm glad other people liked it. There's no promises that you will like the prize of this tournament. Can't contact Plucky for our match? You're not trying hard enough. The craziest and wildest fighters have assembled from around the world to join in the fight. But only Grim one Thief and Plucky. I might have to Skype him. What's all happening? Nick, DSC2 Series. These are two good players. Watch out. I can't believe uh, D. Veritas is actually in Losers. Yeah, Plucky's in the tournament. Car Fireballs. That was Hard Uppercut. Hard Uppercut's more invincible, but less damage. It's the opposite decision that other Shadows make. Whoa! That worked? That was a really strange walk-in. And these normals are good. That was nice. Nick's playing kind of no respect, but this is someone he should actually respect. Oh. That hit? Are you serious? That's nice. He didn't even have face here. Oh, he didn't have a bar. Dude, you're fucking fighting Grim Thief. That was kind of cool. That was an intentional. That was 100% intentional. Ooh, that was supposed to be just an uppercut by itself. Alright. DSC too serious. Playing this game. Pick up the pace. Fight! There's the first hit. Same pace is a good normal. This is what we've been waiting for. The ultimate battle for supremacy. That medium low short was kind of mistimed. It wasn't mistimed, he was just being very, very careful about a wake up uppercut. He waited well past the reversal window. That's an empty cancel, it's a pretty good one. Just far staying short into Tatsu, uh hard Tatsu. I don't know how the net code is now in ranked, but I've been hearing people say it's good. That was nice. That was sneaky. That was a really good series. Very quick though. Nick has better Oni gimmicks than I've ever seen. But at the same time, a lot of them are still gimmicks. If you've got good reactions, you can punish them on reaction. Which is not good. For, uh, ooh, that's a punish. If you get on the other side, there's like no hitbox. And Oni can cross over here, so he has to be relatively careful when using that move. Yeah, that's high damage. The uppercut gets a lot of extra hits. <gasps> he wanted uppercut for sure. He got wake up crutch fierce. And it actually worked, ironically. Which is reason he get punished for it. Light one. Forces people to jump expecting it to continue dying, but it doesn't. Is that really still a punish? What a baby combo, too. He could have landed Dolchard. On reaction, no less. It hit kind of deep. Ooh, that's it. I don't know. If, I don't know. If Nick still plays on keyboard. That was cool. 
does still play on keyboard? Okay. I know he, like, learned stick, but I guess his preference is still keyboard. There's no such thing as a hard way of playing. Nick plays on keyboard because it's probably easiest for him. It's all about what you're used to. I mean, yeah, you could have a really hard controller. But uh, keyboard is basically a hitbox if you have a decent keyboard. I only wonder if his directions are uh, to the left or to the right of his uh, attacks. Playing cross-handed like Seth Killian. That's a combo! Counter hit step kick, plus four. It might be plus three actually, I'm not sure. It feels like plus three, but I think it's plus four. Mathematically it should be plus four. Three extra frames, plus one. Oh, that was a really bad uppercut. That move pushes out really far. Rachel, no chance that that was going to work. Nick doing some awkward wriggling. The way you move when on a hitbox slash keyboard is very different from the way you move. The You have like smaller movement options. If that makes sense. That was max range connect. He couldn't combo go forward there. He could maybe combo the right house or land instant EX or hard got to. Been pretty cool to see there though. That was almost certainly an accident, but it was a pretty cool accident. And the battle continues. Ooh, early jump fierce. That's not Ken's farthest air to air normal. I think Jamar House is. Good absorb. He really wants to keep that white health. He got, he got to keep it. It's a really risky X fireball. Missed his jump in. That would have been cool. Nick poking. Those pokes aren't super safe. Mm, trying to fade out. What the fuck? That was a really small punish. He had all this meter just burning a hole in his pocket and he just did like low forward, not even low fierce. Or sand fierce, I think is higher damage front. Nick playing real careful. <sighs> he didn't even connect. I mean, like, I get, I get. That was. Why'd he still ultra if he didn't even hit? Sometimes I fail to react to the hitter block, but, like, the, if it doesn't connect at all, like, it should be a radically different timing to do the ultra. Oh, that's a good bait. Unfortunately, uh, DSC2 Serious doesn't have a good punish because he used his ultra already. Um, he definitely could have done uh, Stand Run House, though, which would have been a lot better than the low forward he did. That low forward anti air is actually going to do him a lot of. Whoa! S sucks for him. Third hit doesn't hit on crouching opponents all the time. It depends on what the opponent is. Nick Crutch blocked wisely. He knew he wasn't in chip health yet. That low forward is really good, but then he like walked out of range. He should have thrown immediately. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta know you're not gonna connect, and the opponent's not gonna connect with you when you low profile jump in and react very quickly. That's why light red firewall is good. Whoa, that's punishable. That was a punish technically. It whiffed, so we had less time than normal. Ooh, lucky. Fake cross up, very good one. That was very defensive. Could have just thrown Nick immediately, I think. Nick didn't look like he was taking throws. <laughs> Max range combo, that was actually really cool. Tried for the fake cross up. Good jump back. And a nice combo. Really weird that he used low strong. Low strong is a button that Ken normally doesn't hit. Like, almost at all. It functions as a good poke in some matchups. It's got good priority. The speed is not very good, and it's outclassed in combos by low fierce, which is the same slightly lower range and the same speed and dramatically stronger. So one to one, right? Quickly double check. Yeah. I desperately want to be Ultra Chen. I want to be the collective of James James Chen and Ultra David by myself. They both have the exact thing that I wish I was doing. Travel to tournaments, no fucking pressure on you to even be good. Commentate, be well known. It's the battle of the century. Fight! If I could be good, that would be nice. I've got a great technical understanding of the game. Ooh. Yeah, that jump. See that? See how he lo started losing the fireball? Oh, Nick had a much bigger punish available. It's a really bad light DP. 30 damage punish with that jab, though. Or 20, I forget. Caught white health with that sweep. That was nice. Step kick is minus 2, but it's scary hitting buttons after it because Kang could just uppercut.
don't think I'm the commentating type just after I said I was the commentating type. Well, wow, that sucks. Thanks for your fucking confidence. Oh, Nick's playing crazy. He could have uppercutted that jump, actually. Spice up my voice. Why can't that just be a chill commentator? Does that actually work? Yeah. Wait, was that actually... That was two hits of EX. What am I talking about? Of course that works. EX you can FADC even on two hits. I'm going to make a video about that soon because it's actually really useful. People don't talk about it that much. Nice EX fireball. You have to be really brave to throw a fireball like that. Will the tide of battle turn? Fight! Oh. The forward would have gone under that nicely. Also, any anti air would have worked. It's kind of scary to anti air that kind of jump, though, because um, they might not do the Tatsu. It was a really far out jump. If we didn't Tatsu, he wouldn't have even been in range. They cornered himself, uncornered himself. Somewhat risky, but it worked. That towards Fierce was really bad. He had a much bigger punish option. Got a punish there. Too serious? Really strong with the pokes and the footsies. Ooh, he could have released that, actually. Trying to get his white back. Trying to run away. He gave up a lot of ground there. That was an accidental overhead, I think. <laughs> that was really late on both players. That's too far. These are like Ultra 2 combos. Ultra 1 is kind of bad with after any X style 2. That probably would have chipped out. I'm pretty sure that would have chipped out. That move does a fuck ton of chip. I think it always gets 3 hits. Even on crouching components from that point blank. Nick hits a lot of really random buttons. Gameplay style makes no sense to me. This isn't third strike. Whiffing almost doesn't give you meaning. He's getting a lot of white health. It worked out for him. That was really risky what he did. That's sort of why it worked. That's punishable. Why that punish? That's alright. Punish. That was extremely strange because that... That was like hitboxes converging. In a very strange way. Yeah. That's plus actually. EXDP2 hits into FADC. Nick with the really bad slashes on the verge of elimination right now. Yup, there it is. Chip out. R.I.P. Nick. DSC2s. Yeah, I've noticed that Nick's footsies uh, maybe need a little bit of work. GG game glitch is sick. Damn. Almost wish I didn't read that on stream. What are we looking at? Roy versus Plucky. And Plucky...